Today we have something interesting to show you and it comes from Transcend. What it is is basically a NAS, a network attached storage that is basically a storage device that connects to your home network and can be accessed using the cloud. My name is Tarvin from KL Gadget TV and today we are going to do a quick setup and a speed test of the Transcend Store Jet Cloud 110K. Straight out of the box, we get the Ethernet cables for you to connect the device to a network. We have the power adapter to obviously power up the device. Let's take a closer look at the device itself. Now on the top here, we can see that there is a drive bay for only one 3.5 inch hard drive and the hard drive that Transcend has actually provided to us is a 4 terabyte hard drive. On this side, we have the power indicator LED and on the back, we have the function button, the power button, a USB 3.0 for you to back up other storage devices to the NAS, the Ethernet port, and of course, the power port. Overall, the size of the device is pretty small. Compared to the other NAS that we have, this is way more smaller than that. But I guess that is thanks to the only one drive bay that it allows you to have. Uh, other than that, I think this device is small enough for you to slot in into cram areas or basically just put it out of the way because once it is set up, you won't really have to bother about it anymore. Unless, of course, there's an issue with it. Alright, we have the Transcend StoreJet connected to our network. So basically, we're going to do a quick setup using the StoreJet Cloud app, which I have right here. And uh, you can download it from the Play Store if you're on Android and on the App Store if you're on iOS. So right now I'm going to sign in, so I'm not going to use email because it's too much work and I'm a bit too lazy for that. So I'm going to use my Facebook to sign in. And obviously I don't have any devices connected to the app, so right now I need to add one. And this is where it starts to find the StoreJet Cloud that is connected to our network. There you go. So I just click on it and of course I'm going to sign in and this is where I'm going to hide it from you guys. Alright, we are back. Ah, there we go. So basically, now I am connected into um, the Transcend Store Jet, which is connected on our network. So we have video, we have folders for you to put your videos, your music, your photos, your downloads, your documents, and that kind of thing. And of course, there is a casting option where you can actually use that device to cast it to a certain other device that accepts casting. So easy access from the top here. So the app itself is actually pretty simple. It is actually meant for you to connect when you're not within the network. That's where the cloud uh, sense comes in. So right now we are going to move over to the desktop version of the interface. So as you can see here, we have StoreJet Cloud Home, which, and then uh, we have uh, My Photos, My Music, My Videos, Media Player, Disk Manager, Energy Management, and of course Settings. So overall, I actually like the interface. I think it's very simple compared to the other Nest that I've seen. Um, this would be very helpful to a person who's not computer savvy but want to use the NAS. So if we double click on my photos, it will automatically direct me into the photos folder. And of course, we have the other folders here that we can navigate to. So this is the videos folder. Right now, we are going to do a test. We are going to transfer a certain number of footages into the NAS to test out the speed. So here we go to upload, we add and we go to desktop. We have a video test here, so I have some folders, some videos that we have here. Okay, so I'm going to take about roughly about 12 videos and we're going to transfer them now. Alright, let's upload it. We have transferred 12 video files that have sizes ranging from 100 megabytes to about 400 megabytes. And that took us roughly about 5 minutes, 30 seconds to actually complete it. Uh, this is just the, fi the finalizing part of it. As you can see here, so we have the video files here, which are transferred into the Nest already. So if I go back out to the home and I press on my videos, Yep, it should go into the video folders and show us all our video files. So that's uh, the transferring into the NAS. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to transfer them out of the NAS and into our desktop. So with that, we have to click on the file that we want. So for example, if I want this file, I'll press the download button. And as you can see here, it's uh, downloading. So it took uh, roughly about 15 seconds to transfer a 132 megabyte file. Let's try with a bigger file. So. Right here, we are downloading a 348 megabyte file and uh, it roughly takes about 20 to 30 seconds to download that from the NAS into our desktop. 
So there you go, a 364 megabyte file downloaded roughly about 25 to 30 seconds. So we take it a step further and actually use the Crystal Disk Mark software to test out the Transcend Store Jet. And basically what we're getting here is 120 megabytes per second of read and write speed, which honestly is pretty decent. So guys, there you have it. That is the setup and the speed test of the Transcend Store Jet Cloud 110K. Now, although the read and write speeds are not as fast as the other NAS out there, but the price that you're paying for it is pretty decent. I mean, if you are interested in this device, you can get it for about 799 ringgits. And I think it's pretty ideal if you want to just store your family pictures and videos and allow your family members to access this data. So guys, what do you think? Would you get this device for your family members or maybe for your office? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, do subscribe to KL Gadget TV and follow us on our usual social media platforms. My name is Tarvin and I will see you soon.